to another issue um, to Dave Cull, firstly. Now, you're heading the Greater Dunedin team on council. Do you think it would be good for council to be under the majority control of one political grouping? I need to make it clear the Greater Dunedin's only purpose is to get good people onto council. We don't have a role the rest of the time. We don't exercise a role the rest of the time. I run, a, at this term, I've run a united collegial council inclusive of everyone. And uh, the, the, the ticket we run on is for the election and not for the term. Kevin Dwyer, what do you think about that? Do you think that's uh, independent or a ticket is best? Oh, independent, I think it's not open to democracy because they're going to do what he says anyway. Okay, Pete George, you're standing under your Dunedin banner, but the only candidate under that banner. Uh, yes, I've been operating under that for several years. Um, I think uh, Dave Cull is not quite right as far as Greater Dunedin goes. Uh, of quite a bit of experience working with political parties and Greater Dunedin uh, looks like a party, uh, it campaigns like a party and uh, they certainly talk together like parties at, at campaign meetings. Uh, there's a balance, there's a mix of people in there but they are a group and that is a worry uh, in a council if it's dominated by one group. And they're all extremely independently minded, I'll have you know, they wouldn't do what I told them if I asked them. Hilary, do you think that's fair? Do you think and you might do what they want if you do would be an independent council? I think it's sort of an oxymoron to say that we're standing on a ticket, but once we get in, we'll no longer have a ticket connecting us. I think the whole thing is sort of ridiculous. Either you're a group or you're not a group. And if you support independent, good people, whoever's standing, you want good people. They don't support any of the rest of the people who are standing. They only support their ticket. This is a ticket. It's a ticket now. I was asked to stand for you. Um, yes, I was. Um, if it was actually not going to happen afterwards, don't vote for people who say afterwards we're not a group anymore. We only stood so as that Dave could get us in on his coattails. So Dave, you're, you're the grouping that uh, they're free to vote as they like, there's no party whip. Absolutely. I endorse these people because they're good and it's very difficult, and I acknowledge that everyone else would agree with me, it's very difficult for new people to get on council. It's greater than Ethan's ambition to promote good people, to give them some profile, to give them a leg up into council. After that, they are independent. Of course we consult with each other around the council table. But, but decisions have to be made by majority and you want to do it on the right grounds. But that's the end of it. Uh, an outgoing councillor told me he's seen greater than even caucus in, uh, in the current council. So it, it does happen in that case because we don't and we never have. They, uh, can't, they can't but be altered by the idea that the only reason they got in, if they got in, was because Dave Cole said, I'm standing with these group of fabulous people now, if that were the case, that's the reason they would get in. And for that reason, they'd be holding to them. Whatever way, he the money, that's who they would be beholden to. It's not for Dave Cole to decide which candidate should be uh, uh, in council. It's for the voters to, to decide uh, whether they want Greater than Eden in there or they want independent candidates. It's in my there. right to endorse any candidate that I wish. If, they, oh. if they're good enough. If or you want to do group, it, and they're absolutely. Good. And you endorse the group. Absolutely. Kevin, have you got a word to throw in there? Yes, it um, walks like a duck and it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck. It's a duck. <laughs>